Why, hello everyone! Happy day one of NaNoWriMo. I am so excited to be vlogging my experience. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can um, my NaNoWriMo Rebel experience. I will be editing the third draft of Project Diamond, which is the novel that I wrote last year for NaNoWriMo, and I have been trying to edit it. It has been very slow going, so I'm really hoping that NaNoWriMo can help me kick myself into gear to get this draft done. So my NaNoWriMo tracking will be slightly different because since I'm not going to be writing 1667 words a day, I have to track my editing. So the cool thing is, is that I'm actually still going to use the NaNoWriMo website because instead of just tracking the words that I'm writing, I'm going to be tracking it as my words edited. And so I've got a couple different tools here that I'm going to use to help me in my tracking. The first one is this fun habit tracker, which I lose used last year and it's going to help keep myself accountable and get in the habit of editing every day. Um, this is from Bethany Atazada, um, part of her like writer care package um, and a freebie that you get as a patron of hers. So I'm going to be using this coloring in a tile each day I edit which will be super fun and I will also be using this word count tracker. Now I have been very slow going and the last time I, I think I showed a picture of this, I was still at 4,000 words edited. Um, so hopefully I can fill up this page with 50,000 words edited as well as the second page, which is, um, goes up to 100K, but right now Project Diamond is at 62K. And I plan on editing um, I plan on adding more words to the manuscript because there's some scenes that I need to beef up with their description to make sure that I don't have talking head syndrome, as well as some scenes that I want to add for character development and other um, good advice that I got from my beta readers and critique partners that um, read the second draft. So hopefully I will have more words um, that will mean a little more work for me, but I, you know, whether it's written or edited, it'll still count towards this um, word count tracker. And so since Project Diamond is currently sitting at 62K and I have edited, I'm almost at 5K words edited. Uh, that means that I still have 50, I, I, I can do math, I can do math, 57K to edit. Now with 30 days in the month, that means that I am going to need to edit about 2,000 words a day. So as you can tell, I have my work cut out for me because I need to edit a lot of words, but I am hoping that I can hold myself accountable, not only because of NaNoWriMo, but also because I have some accountability buddies sitting here right now. <laughs> I am here with Heather, um, chilling at her house for NaNoWriMo. The first week uh, is our tradition to take off and spend time together. So we're both gonna be working on our manuscripts, um, both editing, so it's kind of nice that we'll be working as rebels together. Let's go edit some words, you guys. goodness, so my editing has been very, very slow going. It has been a long day. <laughs> it has gotten dark out and I have currently edited thir a little over 1300 words. Um, so I am giving myself a little bit of grace today because I took pretty much a month, all of October, to edit one chapter and now my goal is to edit 2000 words a day. Um, so it is going to take me a little bit to get back into the groove of things. Editing is a little bit different, you know, uses a little bit different energy and brain space than writing does, um, where I do have to be in the zone and I can't, I can't kind of like zone out, I guess. Like when you're writing, you just kind of let the words flow. But with editing, I have to be more meticulous and, you know, focused. So 
it it has been a little bit of a struggle today but I feel very proud of the 1300 words that I did edit and for finishing that chapter. Um, so I am currently on chapter four um, of, I didn't see how many chapters there are, um, which I probably should do. But um, but yeah, so this was a, a you know pretty productive day despite me not hitting my goal. I think there is a little bit of the NaNoWriMo writing mindset that I need to do as far as not getting in my own head, doing what I can and moving on because even with this draft it still doesn't have to be perfect so I, I need to just try to remind myself that do what I can and move on um, don't get stuck on any one thing just like I would if I were writing okay you guys it is day two of NaNoWriMo and this day is going so much better than yesterday I really needed to give myself grace on the first day to get myself back in the zone for editing and I'm really glad that I didn't let that be a stumbling block for me um, and part of it's just realizing it, recognizing it, calling it out for what it is and trying to come up with strategies to overcome it and just keep pushing. Um, so it's already, I think it's like noon, uh, maybe a little bit after noon, and I have already hit my word count goal. I am, I have edited 2,500 words so far, which is awesome. So if you see my little trekker here, I am uh, almost at 9,000 words edited total um, since I had done some previously in October. Um, and I am on chapter five, which is a fun scene, one of my favorite scenes um, with the inciting incident, but I do need to change a lot of that chapter. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of reworking for some character development. I at least know there's this one character that I have to fix. So um, today is going really, really well so far. And before I go, I have been using this as a reward, um, Beasts and Beauty, Dangerous Tales by Soman Chainani. Um, this this is the book club pick that we are reading for November for the Diversity is Lit book club. So um, it's super, super good so far. And they have illustrations, which is kind of awesome. Um, let's see, let's show one here. So there's this and then that's really cool. So um, super fun enjoying this as a nice break. Oh my goodness, it is super, super sunny out here. You can see my face a little bit. Um, as you can tell, I am no longer inside for NaNoWriMo day three. We are taking a little bit of a break um, and hiking a trail. And I'm super excited because this trail is a new trail. Um, when I visit Heather in Arizona, um, we usually hike a lot of the trails around Phoenix, like Thunderbird and Camelback Mountain, but this is a new one that is closer to Tucson, so we're a little bit farther south. Day two actually went super well. I officially hit over 10K in editing Project Diamond, which is so, so exciting. I had my break breakthrough yesterday and made a good amount of progress and dent in it, so, so far so good. So we're going to be hiking and then we'll be working on our nano projects um, so I'm taking you along with me and enjoy the view My goodness we were so in the zone so we only showed you the first part of the trail but we were literally like climbing up the side of a mountain like pulling ourselves up that was insane <laughs> this is so satisfying and so rewarding to be up so high how do you feel like things went Heather 
Um, it showed me how much I need to get back into shape. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. Like we are so high up. You can see, uh, you can see the highway there. The cars are moving slowly. And we thought we were going to go to the top of that mountain. And it brought us all the way here. <laughs> uh, I think it said we're at like 3,300 feet of elevation. Like, oh my five, gosh, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> this was definitely worth it. This was amazing. Hello everyone. It is not the day you think it is. It is currently NaNoWriMo, day five. It is Friday. It has been a hot minute since I popped on here, but for good reason. <laughs> the last footage that I showed you guys was climbing up uh, Picacho Peak, and the rest of the day we were trying to recover from said hike. We ended up staying at a hotel. The Wi-Fi for some reason at the hotel was kind of spotty, and we were exhausted after we ate and recovered from the hike that I only edited like 30 words, I was like, I'm just gonna do like a quick line or two and then be done because we were just so exhausted. And same thing for yesterday, the fourth. Only edited like two or three lines um, because we were traveling back from Tucson and had all this other stuff going on and I had every intention to edit more than that because 2K is my goal, right? And that didn't happen. I wanted to try to find a balance with this vacation, with doing fun things and doing things that I can't do in Chicago and um, spending time with my sister that I haven't seen. We did get to see each other in September for a friend's wedding, but before that it had been last NaNoWriMo. So, you know, to be able to only see my twin twice a year is not acceptable for us. <laughs> um, so it was it was nice to be able to spend time with her but today we are going to buckle down we are going to get our words edited i am going to catch up we also have a live stream that we are going to do later tonight yeah so you can watch us catch up and get all the words in I am popping on for a quick update. I am currently streaming uh, right now, but I just muted myself and stopped the camera. But we are doing the infamous kitty race timer that I always do for my live riding sprints. We have a lot of people here, so it's super, super fun. I will be doing these sprints all month long, and I am gonna hop off of the camera so I can go get some words edited. live stream was a success so I definitely caught up from today and yesterday um, but I'm still about 2,000 words behind where I want to be and I am now on chapter 7 which is crazy to think that I am making it that far because I was stuck on chapter 3 literally for months and so it just is awesome. I have not been on for two days. Um, I really was just enjoying the last two days with Heather. I did have just a wonderful week and just editing so much that I didn't know that I was gonna be able to do and that I haven't been able to do all year was a breakthrough. So hopefully week two will go just as smoothly. Now that I'll be back at work, back at real life, we will see how things go. So good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, November 21st, and it's the end of the third week of NaNo. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on, um, so I'm kind of making this a NaNoWriMo rebel vlog instead of week one, two, three, four, because um, coming back from vacation, work was insane, and I was not able to get done what I wanted to get done. Um, 
I had so much to catch up on and work has just been nuts and so I haven't done too much editing um, other than this weekend. So I wanted to hop on because this is the NaNoWriMo weekend write-a-thon that Ash um, Autumn Ashley is hosting and I participated on Friday. That was the start of the write-a-thon and I ended up editing 3,000 words, which was the most I had done since coming back from vacation, which was awesome. I am just shy of 19K. Now, remember, I started at 62K, and it's currently, my manuscript is up to 63K because I've been adding um, content. Oh, <laughs> Zuko's right here, <laughs> brushing up against my camera. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I, I have a ways to go. <laughs> so today I'm going to attempt to make all of the writing sprints. There are going to be four happening that are three hours long, and I'm going to be hosting the one at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, today, so that's gonna be fun to host that with um, some of my friends and be productive, it's gonna be awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna try to document my day. It's not a 10K writing day, it's a 10K editing day, and we will see how things go. I'm so close to the 22K, as you can see, so I just went ahead and filled that in. I ended up having an amazing first sprint, um, first stream, where we had three or four different sprints, and I edited 3,000 words, which was amazing! So I have been hitting around 3,000 words edited during each of the streams. So I am currently on Sarah Labratt's, um live stream right now and then mine is coming up in a couple hours so super super excited to keep making progress and I'm feeling great because I've got my motivation, accountability, great writer friends so I'm gonna go dive in and try to get some words edited. Woohoo! I just finished sprinting on Sarah Labratt's channel and mine is coming up in 30 minutes so I was sitting for a while so I'm actually gonna go for a walk before my sprint starts because it is actually really, really nice out today. The sun is out, which has not been happening in Chicagoland. Um, so I'm gonna take advantage of the weather and get some steps in before I hop back for more sprints. And we all left to get coffee or tea. <laughs> we've been going for two hours, so we've got a little less than an hour left and we are all running on the struggle bus. So <laughs> I've got my tea right here and I mixed two because that's what I like to do. So I've got a blueberry green tea for some caffeine and then the throat coat since I've been talking a lot. Um, and that's like my favorite tea, the Yogi throat coat tea. Um, and so this combination is delish. Oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard. But I'm just tapping out, you guys. I am not gonna make it for the final sprint of the ride-a-thon. Um, I am just so, so tired, but I am so happy with the progress I did do. 7,200 words edited, which is incredible. Uh, my graph is so wonky and crazy. And I actually did have to update my goal to 66K. Um, I'm almost at 66K um, because I keep adding uh, scenes and bulking things up, which is adding words to my final word count. Um, so at least I passed the 25k mark, but I still have a ways to go. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can for the final, what is it, nine days, but I, I have a feeling that this goal will be extended into December. But I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying. And we will see what happens uh, this week. Hello, hello. It has been a little bit. 
It is currently Saturday, November 27th, the end of week four of NaNoWriMo, and the work week has been not too bad, um, but I had Thanksgiving, which you know, everyone else in the US also had. Um, I did have to work on Black Friday, so that was a little bit of a bummer because I didn't have that time, but I am going to be hosting a live stream. This is, is the last of my writing sprints for November, and so I'm really excited to be productive and get some work done. Um, as you saw, I'm currently sitting at 27K. I did not get a chance to vlog um, when was that? Tuesday night, um, because I was a guest on Jesse Elliott's channel and we sprinted together. It was super productive and a lot of fun, so I'm gonna need to hop on her channel a lot more. But I'm excited to work on it and yeah, come along with me as I edit during the last weekend of NaNoWriMo. November. November has come and gone. <laughs> it is the last day of NaNoWriMo and it feels weird to say but I'm actually signing on to sign off. Um, I did not get to write as much as I wanted to this past weekend um, during my last live stream. Um, only ended up doing a little bit less than 100 words because I was trying to catch up on so many other things. I had a second Thanksgiving. Um, with my family and it was a lot of fun but I also have not really had much time and or energy um, and I'm listening to my body and listening to myself and knowing that I can't push myself past my limits so 27k just a little bit over 27k is where I will be ending um, as a nano rebel now if you would like to continue watching my journey of editing this draft and to hopefully start querying in 2022 then keep following me for more vlogs and writing updates so my new goal now is to finish editing this draft by the end of December 31st or <laughs> By the end of December 31st, yeah. By the end of the year, December 31st is my goal. So I still have about 39K right now to edit. So I still have to edit, like my goal is going to be 1.5K a day. We'll see how this goes, goes, but I think giving myself another month will help me and NaNoWriMo was what helped me get back into the editing zone, get, getting back into the writing world again, and just getting back into Project Diamond, which is definitely a win in and of itself. So thanks for watching me during this NaNoWriMo Rebel vlog, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!